Hey guys, so I just want to give you guys a preface to um, this kind of time last video that I did. Um, what I did is I cut and painted basically an eight foot um, Grinch uh, from Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And it's actually in my front yard right now, um, but I'm going to show you guys the time lapse. There is a couple things that... Um, I don't show, and that's kind of the preface to the video I want to give you guys. Um, the material I'm using is actually uh, foam insulation for the house. Uh, you can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, the sheet I bought was inch and a half, I believe, and it was $17, um, something like that, um, to buy it. Uh, now, it comes for, I think it's a 4 by 8 sheet, or it might be 4 by 12 um, if that's the case, he's, he's about eight feet tall, so or long. Um, the way I uh, the way I cut it, um, well, let me just be, give you the materials again. Um, it's the foam board, and then uh, basically craft acrylic paint uh, with a very small amount of spray paint for some um, after kind of touch up. Uh, and yes, I know spray paint melts foam, but I didn't use it on the face of the foam, if that makes any sense. Uh, another thing, too, is um, I had inch and a quarter uh, PVC pipe, and that's what's holding them up. Um, and then I had a pack of welding rods that I used um, to cut and to kind of help in, in fill in some spots. Um, I also used stirring sticks from Home Depot. Uh, they gave me them for free, so I just used those. And then inch and a quarter... Um, brackets for the PVC as well as uh, some electrical conduit, uh, five foot section of electrical conduit. They were two dollars each. Uh, I believe I got the half inch sized one. Um, not too expensive also at Home Depot. And then uh, hot glue uh, and wood glue um, and then assorted brushes and everything. So, uh, but the majority of the painting you're going to see is actually with craft acrylic paint, which is available at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, I bought it. I had it in a bulk thing. The only thing I had to buy was a couple, uh, uh, a little bit of black and a little bit of red uh, to finish him off. Uh, but other than that, I had most of it here, um, as well as the PVC and a couple other things I already had. So total build um, that I spent was about thirty dollars, if that. Um, but material, you can get creative, use wire hangers or whatever, uh, <clears throat> or, or maybe, you know, whatever you have lying around. But you could easily do this project for under $50. And I've seen these sell, um, and not, I, I, not to toot my own horn, but not in such great looking condition um, out of particle board or, or whatnot. And I wanted something light. Um, weatherproof and, and something that I could touch up and reuse. Uh, wood, MDF, particle board, uh, it was just going to warp and it would cost way too much to seal it and, and, and you know, all that garbage that I don't really want to deal with. So, um, that's why I use this material and then I just peeled off the front and back. I think it's just like a paper and aluminum cover so it's not a big deal. Now in order to cut it, and I'm not going to show you guys how to cut it, but I'm going to show you the painting process. What I did is I went into Excel and I, I blew up a picture of the Grinch that I wanted to use and I blew them up to those uh, dimensions, that 8 foot by 4 foot dimension. Um, and then I printed it on a regular uh, inkjet printer. And then what I did is I cut those pages out and then kind of puzzled them all together on the, uh, on the foam board. Um, I stuck it with a little bit of uh, spray adhesive um, and it just it came right off when I was about to paint. So. Uh, it peels right off the foam. Uh, it wasn't a, a huge deal. Um, to cut it, after I, I placed everything to cut it, I used a propane torch um, and uh, a welding rod. And what I did is I heated up a bit of the welding rod. I, I knocked off some of the, the fl um, flux on it. I heated up a bit of it, about a, a three inch piece. And then I used that as kind of a, a wire cutter for the foam. So um, that was kind of the process. It's really simple. Um, the please don't think I'm, I'm making it seem like it's more <laughs> complicated than it is. It really isn't. Um, with a little bit of patience and a little bit of um, you know homework, you could probably do it yourself. But uh, I just want to give you guys the preface before we get into the video of the time lapse, and then uh, you know you'll see the process of me painting it and kind of putting it together. Uh, the PVC was stuck with the brackets onto a piece of 
uh, stirring stick from Home Depot and then that piece was glued onto the foam board. Now I did use uh, hot glue and um, wood glue and the reason I use wood glue is because it's got little bits of, uh, of material in it to keep kind of make it a little stronger and then um, I held that all together with Gorilla Tape, um, but you can use duct tape or whatever. I just used it to make sure it was it was where it needed to be. Um, the glue is what actually is going to hold it. And then any of the thin spots or the, the narrow um, pieces of foam, I just stuck a, a welding rod. Um, they're about 12 inches. I just stuck a welding rod through it um, to give it some uh, strength. So the wind and, and the, you know, kind of moving it around wouldn't knock a piece off. And you'll see like the tip of his hat. And then actually in the video, um, I don't know if I show it, but uh, you'll see it, the leg kind of pop off. Um, I just fixed it with a piece of welding rod, um, a little bit of glue and some tape. It, it really came out great. It doesn't, I mean, it sounds like it was just kind of hobbled together. And it was, but it, it came out great. I love it. Um, we got the lights up and we got a, a spotlight on it. So, um, you know, just just enjoy it for what it is. I had a great time making it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment on the video. And uh, as always, you know, subscribe and like, and I'll keep doing videos and I'll keep doing stuff that I love to do. Um, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Obsessions O B S E S S C I O N S. All right, so let's get into the time lapse. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Rain